Hi, this is Ron with Amazing Mile Marker Stops, and we're at Two-Way Fish Camp. Previously on Amazing Mom Marker Stops, we watched the 4th of July celebration in Brunswick, Georgia. We checked out First Friday in downtown Brunswick. And we attended their first ever annual Blue Crab Festival. For this trip, we invited Marie's mom along with us. At 87, she's never been on any boat other than little fishing boats, so this overnight cruise will be an adventure for her. getting underway in the morning and we carry 200 gallons of water on board elixir but anytime we're going to get underway I always want to top the water tank off for two reasons one the you never know how long you're going to be there maybe the engine will break down you're on the hook for a lot longer than you thought and plus we can use as much water as you want not worry about it if I know we're going to be hitting someplace soon uh, I don't know how much water is on board right now. We have no sight glass, no gauge or anything. So I never know we're running out of water until the water pump starts straining to pump water. And I go, oh, we're low on water. I need to top it off. So um, also, you never know what the water's gonna taste like at places you, you hit along the way. I always want a full tank before we leave. That's the end bottom line. So we're getting ready to fill the water up and uh, let's get that done. We have a dedicated water hose because we don't want to use water or use a hose that's had all kinds of critter fritters crawling through it on the dock or anything else. So we have this uh, water hose that the only thing we use it for is filling up our water tank. And when not used, it stays in the zipped up bag to keep it protected from the uh, critter fritters. I also made up this handy dandy little thing here you screw your hose into and it, it gives me a little more flexibility for one this goes down in the hole you'll see in a little bit um, and it keeps it from slipping out also I can turn it on and off from here so I don't have to go running so fast between the 50 feet up there where the uh, the hose is hooked up to at the faucet so it's pretty cool I learned that from a, another boater along the way all right can you got the key Where's the key
I get a toast. Oh, that's the step. First thing you want to do is purge the first amount of water. Just let it run. This is where I was going to lay out the, uh, I was going to move aside a few things and lay out my, hello, and lay out the um, um, bimini, not the bimini, the bow cover. Alrighty, this is our uh, full tank indicator. That's how you know it's full. This is what I like about this thing is I got the water turned off, it's still on at the faucet, so I didn't have to go running way up there to get it turned off. I just turned off here. I can leisurely walk up to the uh, faucet and turn it off there. And we got water. Check out this sunset, guys. That's beautiful. Our last night, Brunswick Landing Marina, and it's sending us off with a bang. That is gorgeous. Wish y'all were here with us. Yes. Before we head out, we wanted to top off our fuel tanks. Uh, Elixir holds 150 gallons of fuel, 75 gallons in each of two tanks. That gives us a range of about 500 miles before we have to fill up again.
public pier off St. Simon's Island. some up into little bite-sized pizza pieces and here's our guacamole holy guacamole we got two of them for the people that like them and a roasted red pepper hummus we've stirred it all in and we put first we take the tortilla and we warm it up a little bit in the microwave and then we add Uh, that's real yellow. Mm-hmm. The black, the black cloud, the clouds are this side of it. Mm-hmm. It's catching that big one coming over there. Yep. It's going to come and completely cover up the sunset yeah, for us. It is. Yeah, it's going to get all that red up there. It's going to cover it. Yeah. <laughs> like a storm coming in, you know? It's just the tide is what's making the water ripple. Mm hmm. It doesn't look that yellow over there, but it does here. Yep. The next morning, as we sat on the flybridge enjoying our morning coffee, we saw something none of us had ever seen before. A white deer. At first it was way off in the distance, and the only way we could see it was using our stabilized binoculars. We got a few pictures with our telephoto lens, and then as it came closer, we finally got a video of it. And just as quick as we got it on video, it was gone, and we never saw it again. That day was declared Nature Day. First the white deer, and then the seagulls came. Next, we got to watch a pelican as it circled our boat. No, I got it. Oh. Then there was the manatees who gave us quite a show.
There's two. There's three. There we go. Right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> got to see the dolphins feeding in the shallows. Just when everything was going great, trouble reared its ugly head. Okay, so the rain did hit us and chased us down below. We're just coming to the ICW out of the Frederica River. So we have to drive from down here. I don't like this as well. It's harder to see. It's not as relaxing. And as you can probably hear, it's kind of noisy. But there we are. So hopefully we'll pop out of the rain pretty soon and it'll clear up for our entrance into the, uh, the new marina. Let's see if we don't run aground first. That was shallow water alarm. Alright, we got less than two feet underneath us. Which is right there. 1.4 foot at this point.
Got a crab trap in it ahead of us. I gotta figure out which side to go on it. I'll go this way. There's a sandbar across the entrance to the Frederica River coming off the ICW. But we got over seven foot under us, we're good to go. So what did you do? I was getting off of the bed and I couldn't find the step. And when I went, I sort of kind of fell off of the bed and I hit the door, the bathroom door that's fastened open. And I did that on it and that one was out of the well, bed. You know what happened? I had moved the step so I could no. open the bathroom door and latch it so no. it could be latched open. And then when you closed the bathroom door, you didn't put the step back. Or when you got up on the bed, you didn't put the step. But let's see this one too. That doesn't look like it feels too good. It'll be okay. Tonight we're eating at Mudcat Charlie's. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to flip over to our travel guide at AmazingMileMarkerStops.com and like us on Facebook. And remember, don't just cruise. Visit Amazing Mile Marker Stops.
you know, God had a, had a sense of humor to uh, create animals like that, yeah. and then a bigger sense of humor to create us. <laughs> <laughs>